Hello everyone. Hope you all are safe in this lockdown. You are capable of time to be healthy. Arogyam Param Sukham means health is well. So today I am going to do some yoga asanas. So please follow me. It will make you fit. So first we will do some standing yoga asanas. And the first asana is Tadasana. It is also called mountain pose. It is a basic standing asana. It helps to keep the body erect and it straightens the back. Tadasana is like this. First you have to stand straight with your feet together and your palms towards facing towards your thighs and your back straight. This is Tadasana. The next asana is Urdhva Hastasana. It teaches you to stand correctly and it makes your mind alert. Urdhva Hastasana is like this. First, you have to stand in Tadasana and then you have to keep your arms sideways and raise your hands above your head. This is Urdhva Hastasana. Now slowly relax your body. The next asana is Brikshasana. It is also called tree pose. And it improves balance and concentration. And it also straightens the shoulders. Brikshasana is like this. First you have to stand in Tadasana and then you have to keep your left leg on your right thigh. You can do opposite side also like right leg on left thigh. And then you have to slowly raise your hands above your head. This is Brikshasana. Now slowly relax your body. The next asana is Utkata Asana. People pretend to be sitting on a chair. It is also called chair pose. It straightens the ankles, thighs, inner legs and back. Utkata Asana is like this. First you have to spread your feet 3 to 4 feet apart. And then you have to First you have to stand in Tadasana and then Urdhva Hastasana and then bend your knees. This is Utkata Asana. Now slowly relax your body. The next asana is Uchita Trikon Asana. It shakes the legs and straightens the ankles. Uttita Trikonasana is like this. First you have to spread your feet 3 to 4 feet apart and then you have to bend down. You have to hold your left leg with your left hand and your right hand straight up. Like this. This is Uttita Trikonasana. Now slowly relax your body. The next asana is Virbhadra Asana. It is also called Warrior Pose. It increases stamina and develops lung and chest. It also straightens the shoulders and muscles. Virbhadra Asana is like this. First you have to spread your feet 3 to 4 feet apart and then you have to move your right leg 90 degrees and your left leg slightly in and then you have to bend your right knee and your left knee straight and then you have to join your both palms like this. This is Veerbhadra Asana. Now Slowly relax your body. The next asana is 
Virbhadra Asana 2. It is same as Virbhadra Asana 1, but there is one difference. So please see that difference. Virbhadra Asana 2 makes your legs powerful and it straightens the back and stomach muscles. Virbhadra Asana 2 is like this. First you have to spread your three feet three to six feet apart and your right leg 90 degree and your left leg slightly in and you have to bend your right knee and knee straight your arms sideways and you have to look at your right hand's fingertips. This is Virabhadra Asana 2. Now slowly relax your body. The next asana is Adho Mukshwana Asana. And this is the last asana of standing asanas. It is also called downward facing dog stretch and inverted V position. It refreshes the body and it also straightens the ankles. Adho Mukshwana Asana is like this. First you have to keep your hands down and you have to walk backward how much ever you can and the distance should be same between your hands and legs and you have to keep your head on the floor this is Adho Mukshwana Asana now slowly relax your body by walking forward now we are going to do some sitting yoga asanas and the first asana is dandasana it turns the spinal and leg muscles it improves the posture when seated dandasana is like this you have to keep your elbows and back straight and your knees also straight and your legs facing to your body like this. This is Dandasana. Now slowly relax your body. The next asana is Padmasana. It is also called Lotus Pose and meditated pose and it is also called Gyan Mudra. It refreshes your mind and straightens the back. Padmasana is like this. First you have to sit on Dandasana and then you have to take your right leg and keep it on your left thigh and your left leg you have to keep it on your right thigh. And your hands should be in Dhyan Mudra. And you have to close your eyes. Now slowly relax your body. The next asana is Parvatasana. It is also called mountain pose. It connects an outer back and droppy shoulders. It also straightens the ankles. You have to first sit in Padmasana. And then you have to clasp your fingers and invert them and raise your hands above your head. Your elbows should be straight. This is Parvatasana. Now slowly relax your body. The next asana is 
Vajrasana. It helps to calm your mind and it keeps your mind alert and it has a good effect on digestion. Vajrasana is like this. You have to keep your hips on your ankles and your hands on your thighs and close your eyes. This is Vajrasana. Now slowly relax your body. The next asana is Prolasana. It is also called scale pose. It straightens the ankles, fingers, wrists, arm and back and stomach muscles. Tolasana is like this. First you have to sit in Padmasana and you have to keep your both palms towards your legs and lift yourself and move front and back. Swing front and back. This is Tolasana. Now slowly relax your body. The next asana is Badrakona Asana. It helps in functioning of lower abdominal organs and it also helps for hips and knee joint healthy. To keep hips and knee joint healthy. So Badrakona Asana is like this. First you have to join your both legs and clasp your fingers and hold it and your thighs should be on the floor. This is Badra Kona Asana. This is Badra Kona Asana too. Now slowly relax your body. The next asana is Virasana. It helps in digestion and leg cramps. And Virasana is like this. You have to keep your both legs sideways and your hips between your both legs. Virasana also makes knee joints and hips healthy and flexible and strong. Now slowly relax your body. The next asana is Supta Virasana. Supta means sleeping. It rests our heart. Sukta Virasana is like this. First you have to sit in Virasana and with the support of your elbows you have to sleep and you, and you have to raise your hands above your head like this. It may be difficult but with practice you will be easily do it. Now slowly relax your body. The next asana is Gomukasana. It is the last asana of sitting yogasnas. Gomukasana is like this. First you have to keep your left leg under your right thigh and your right knee on the left knee and your right arm 
between your shoulder blades and your left hand to the right hand. Clasp both palms fingers. This is Gomukhasana. Now slowly relax your body. Now I am going to show you some sleeping yogasanas and the first asana is Dhanurasana. It is also called bow pose and it extends chest. Dhanurasana is like this. You just have to sleep relaxly and then you have to hold your legs and then you have to pull your legs and chest like this. This is Dhanurasana. Now slowly relax your body. The next asana is Anantasana. Means Lord Vishnu resting on a snake Ananta. It is also called sleeping Lord Vishnu pose. It helps for hamstring muscles elastic. Anantasana is like this. First you have to sleep like Lord Vishnu and then you have to hold this left leg with your left hand and raise your leg up and your right leg straight. This is Anantasana. You can do opposite side also. Now slowly relax your body. And the next asana is Shavasana. It is the last asana of this show. Shava, shava means a dead body. So you have to just sleep like a dead body. And close your eyes. This is Shava Asana. Now slowly relax your body. Shava Asana relaxes the whole body and it relaxes the fatigue. Thank you.